My name is Ruara Sheshai and I'm 16 years old. I learned at Christa Mambo High School and I attended 14 points. I wrote my exams last year. So I, I, I applied for law at the University of Zimbabwe and on Monday I attended their interviews. Well, the interviews were, I can't say they were easy, I can't say they were hard, they were a bit tricky, but I'm hoping for the best, I'm hoping to get the place. Okay, when I was in primary school, grade three, third term, I skipped, then I went to grade five. So I went to grade five for one term, then the next term I went to grade seven. The next year, the year that I was supposed to be in grade four, I went to grade seven. Then it's for my high school and my secondary school, I never skipped any. I only skipped in primary. Well, the experience made me mature along the way, so then I didn't have to have that feeling where you feel, um, wow, I'm so young, and wow, this is so amazing. But then I got to be mature, and I put myself in the shoes of just any other student who was in the right grade with the right years. So the feeling then started coming out when I finished my A-levels. I'm like, wow, I'm 16. That's when I felt uh, a difference. I felt so proud of myself. I was so happy, and yeah, I was just glad. Following after Mount Chifamba would make me feel so happy. It's, it's a good thing. Oh. Yeah, it's not different years, but then, you know, since I was in primary, I would always ask myself, so will I manage high school? Okay, now that I'm going to A-level, will I manage A-level stuff? You know, people talk about the big books in A-level. People would do other of big books. I used to ask myself, so will I manage? Will I excel? But then, at after the results came out, I realized that, wow, I could manage. So I'm sure I'll manage. Well, oh, well, my A-level results have two A's and one B. That's A in FRS, A in history, and a B in literature and English. I would like to study law because I know law will offer me an opportunity to develop a wide range of skills and also if I study law it will strengthen my understanding of the human day-to-day -day life and help me explore how people live and experience different things in life every day. I would like to thank my amazing family, the Shai family and also my amazing maternal family, the Rukayangas. And I would like to Thank a very big thank you to my dad who supported me when I thought it was I was not putting enough effort when I thought I would not make it he was just there for me he stood by me in and out where I cried where I where I went down when I went into the drain he was just there and he supported me I'd like to say thank you you to him and also I'd like to say thank you for the Krista Mambo family uh, they took me as a child groomed me to be who I am today and above all I'd like to thank the Almighty God for helping me throughout the whole process and also to others out there who want to have the same experience uh, the sky is not even the limit it's the beginning so no matter what you first you have to keep on thriving to do the best and also you just look up to you have to we have people that you look up to. I'll just look at how much Fumba did it at 14. I thought, wow, I could just do this. So you know what? You can do anything and the sky is not even the limit. It's just the beginning.